What's up guys, this is the only ninja wearing aviators in a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. This is episode five, whatever, of the kicking throughout the summer series where I teach you to become a kicker all throughout the summer, one week at a time. And today we're going over one of my favorite kicks, the hook kick, the kick where you can kick someone in the back of the head while looking them in the eyes, featuring um, my dogs. <laughs> And I know you guys are gonna ask. So that is Chai, he's a big boy over there. And that is Jazz, the mama dog over there. But it's time to get into our hook kicks. Understanding a hook kick starts with understanding a round kick, which lucky for you, we've already covered. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go and watch it. It will help this one significantly. However, the hook kick is kind of like doing a round kick in reverse. Round kicks go this way, but however, a hook kick will come up and back. It's kind of slapping someone with the bottom of your foot. So what we're gonna do is just like pretty much every other kick we've done in this series, we're gonna start from our nice solid base with one foot forward uh, and our hips going forward. Now with our back leg, which is what we're gonna start with at first, our back leg kicks, you're going to turn your front foot sideways, which will help you open your hips up to slide your foot through just like so. Again, you're gonna turn your front foot sideways and slide through. Once we slide through, our foot comes up and across, and once it passes our target, we bend at the knee and pull it behind us, just like when we started. So again, turn it sideways, lift up, bend, and pull back. It's really important that as you pull your foot across, it bends after it hits its target, or as it hits its target. It's at the same time. That allows you to use your entire leg and the whip to hit your target with as much power as you can. And depending on the target, you can either hit with the heel of your foot or the bottom of your foot, depending on the target and what your goal is. Hitting with the bottom is more of a, of a kind of like a slapping impact and hitting with the heel is more of a breaking impact. Things that can, you know, break the, the leg, break an arm, break the back of the skull, things like that. But one more time, turning that front foot sideways so that we can slide that leg up and bang. That is our hook kick, just like so. But just like the previous videos, I wanna give us some upgrades that will help us get better and better at this kick. However, uh, the one thing I am gonna tell you is this requires really flexible hips. So working on any kind of split variation is gonna be really helpful for uh, not only improving that first kick, but also the challenging variations as well. For our first challenging variation, we're gonna do our a uh, spinning hook kick, our spinning hook kick. We're gonna start more bladed as opposed to squared off, more bladed, and we're going to spin first before we kick. It's a spinning hook kick and it goes in that order. We're gonna spin until we can see our target twisting our feet, not stepping, we're not walking around. We are simply twisting our feet just like so. One more time, we're twisting. Ooh, our <laughs> Maybe not exactly right now. We wanted to get in the shot, but watch out, watch out, watch out. But we're taking our back, our, our eyes looking all the way around and with our back leg, it comes up, around and back into the start. All the way through with the dogs in the back. There we go. And just to do it at a slightly different angle, I'll do it facing this way. Bang, so you can get kind of an understanding of how this kick works. I know, you're having fun. It's hot though, you might wanna go inside. You can go inside. Okay, whatever, you do you. For the last kick, we're gonna do a skipping kick. This will allow us to gain distance on our opponent and hit them in the back of the head or wherever our target is. For this, it's gonna work very similar to the previous skipping kicks where we take our back leg, we lift it up, we switch while we're moving forward and that front leg is gonna be what kicks. One more time, watch. Back leg lifts up, switch, move forward, and that front leg is gonna be what kick. All the way through, just the skipping motion is gonna look like that, just like that. And then you just add in the kick for your hook kick. And going at a slightly different angle, bang, just like so. One of my favorite things to do with hook kicks is add the round kick afterwards. So you can do things like a hook kick into a round kick 
or a spinning hook kick into a round kick that comes back uh, because a lot of times you can use that spin to bait people in so that you finish them off afterwards. But don't worry, I'll get into kick combinations a little bit later in this series. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to uh, check out the Become a Members tab. If you decide to become a member, you can actually get all of these videos a little bit earlier. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the Modern Ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to